Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. That's Acts chapter four, verses 29 through 31 out of the New International Version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this thriving Thursday. I want you to say aloud, say, God did not make me to just get by, but he created me to thrive. Yes. Yes, he did. My brothers and sisters, welcome to the Prayer 365 podcast, where we're on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer before we dive into our devotional this morning i just want to take a quick second and thank each of you for being here with us those of you on facebook youtube our conference line as well as even those listening to our replay um, we celebrate your presence while you're here i do encourage you to hit the subscribe button the like button the share button if this helps you in any way shape or form one of the things that we've committed to doing at thrive is praying um, we believe as as a church that prays together uh, is a church that will indeed thrive together and I'm so excited about what God is doing in the life of those that have been committing to prayer with us now I also want to express that we are walking up on the weekend um, we got a couple more days today and tomorrow and then we're right there um, I do want to invite you or remind you that we will be meeting on Sunday in person for our Sunday worship experience at Thrive Church. I want to just extend an invitation to you. I want to tell you early so that you can make plans to be there. You know, bring your family, bring your friends and join us in person as we worship together. All right, let's go ahead and press forward into our devotional for this morning. We're in a powerful week of devotion with a theme titled Shake It Up. I want you to speak out loud this morning and say, Lord, I give you permission to shake up my life. Oh, come on here. I want you to say that one again. Say, Lord, I give you permission to shake up my life. Amen. You see, the thing is, we often pray but then when God answers the prayer and a shaking occurs, oftentimes we say, well, whoa, 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 I didn't sign up for this. But you must understand that there's a great thing that's happening or following that shaking that you are enduring. Amen. When the saints of God were praying and, the, and, and while they were praying or after they prayed, I should say, understand that the place where they were meeting, it was shaken. And then they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, this week, we've been working on this theme and we declare that on day one that God is shaking it up in order to stir it up. Yes, he's stirring up his people because we cannot be settled my brothers and sisters. Why? Because the work is not finished. It's not finished at all and then my brothers and sisters understand that today or yesterday we said that it's only a threat when the believers were praying they said lord consider the threats that are up against us consider the things that we see here and they said they said lord consider what we're going through but understand that it was only a threat and a threat is there to invoke fear about a possibility and not a reality. Amen. Now, today, what I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, is that there is a second wind. Yes. Today, we're going to talk about the second wind. During the 2020 Olympics, something special happened. 
there's there was a a race of the women's 1500 meter race and a woman by the name of Safan Hassan she's from the Netherlands she was running along with the rest of the pack and all of a sudden someone tripped and fell she tried to jump over that person but she failed to do so and she fell also she tried to jump over them but she failed and she fell right along with them but what happened after this is what shocked the world she got back up she finds herself in second to last place but then she begins to run harder and stronger and faster than what she was before she was on before she fell down on the ground now she came up on the first person she passed them then she comes up on the next person she passed them may i note for you that this was during the last lap of the race that she fell but she got up and before you know what she passed 11 people and finished the race in first place my brothers and sisters after the race she she told a reporter safan said I cannot believe it. She said, I used all of my energy this morning and I was kind of tired. I couldn't believe what really happened or that happened. She said, I, or it was terrible when I tripped. It was terrible when I tripped. Yet she got up and not only finished the race, she won. My goodness, if you've ever been a runner, then you know what Safan found when she hit the ground or when she got up from the ground. She found a second wind. I want everybody to say that aloud, a second wind. Oh, yes, I see y'all already talking or, or putting it in the chat. Good morning, Sister Tierra. Already putting it in the chat. Yes, a second win. She found a second win when she got up from the ground. You see, a second win, my brothers and sisters, hallelujah, is a new strength or renewed energy. A second win is new strength or renewed energy. One definition says that a second wind is a person's ability to breathe freely during exercise after have being out of breath. Now, when Safan fell, most believe that her chances of winning were next to impossible. They just wanted to see her finish. But somehow when she got up, she found a new strength, not only to catch up, but the win, no one likes the feeling of failure. Nobody likes the feeling of a fall. Some would even argue that failure and a fall or failure and falling feels just as terrible as hitting the pavement. You know how it was when you were a kid. One day I was on, the, on my bicycle riding down the street trying to do tricks and I fell off of it. And hit the ground and skin comes off when you hit that pavement. But understand that falling and failing in life often feels worse than what when you fell as a child. My goodness. Sometimes it's the failure and the fall that reveal that there's more inside of you than you could have ever imagined. I know we get bothered by failure. We get bothered by falling. But many of times that's the moment that God reveals that there's greater inside of you. Now watch this. When a believers went to God in prayer in Acts chapter four, I believe they felt a lot like Safan. They were in their final lap of their first race. And here they are experiencing what felt like a failure. Yet in their prayer, they ask God for the boldness, watch this, to get back up and to keep running, to keep proclaiming the word of God. And the scripture says that after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. And the word used for shaken, it describes a motion produced by wind. Yes, if you remember just two chapters earlier, 
while they were in the upper room yes the believers were up in the upper room the scripture says that suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting therefore the shaking of the place while they were praying or after they prayed was the sign of the coming of their second wind i need somebody to catch that today when the place shook after they prayed it wasn't that things were going wrong no that was the sign of the coming of their second wind and in the latter portion of acts chapter 31 it says and they were filled with the holy spirit and spoke the word of god boldly you see the second wind of a believer is found in the holy spirit and it's access through prayer now this morning as we're preparing to close this up here i want to talk to someone who's been running in this race called life you were running well and then you came face to face with a challenge you tried to jump over it tried to push through it but you failed and you fell two of the most difficult moments to overcome in life is a failure and a fall both are painful and both discourage progress i want you to know that you may have failed and you may have fallen but the race is not over i'm gonna say that again you may have failed you may have fallen but the race is not over you see the pain of your failure and fall was only meant to push you back towards the father thank you lord and he is always ready to help he just needs your permission hallelujah somebody say he just needs my permission now because you've been praying you'll experience some shaking you will but don't be afraid it's only a sign of your second wind you may have failed but you're coming back wiser you may have fallen hallelujah but you're getting up stronger i know you're tired you're probably out of breath probably feel like it's time to quit but there is more inside of you somebody say there's more inside of me because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you see here's the beauty of it after Safan Hassan fell and she got back up and she finished that first race in first place she ended up finishing that competition and winning a bronze medal but then she went on and got a gold in the 5,000 meter and then she got another gold in the 10,000 meter race you see you may have failed you may have fallen but failure does not stop your story and a fall does not change your destiny I gotta say that one more time you may have failed you may have fallen but failure does not stop your story nor does a fall change your destiny there's greater on the other side of that failure there's greater on the other side of that fall you just got to get up and pray and receive your second wind i want to pray for you today because there's a second wind that's on its way and all god has been needing you to do is simply get back up hallelujah get back up again and today somebody's strength is about to be renewed and you're about to receive your second win father we thank you today on this thriving hallelujah thriving thursday lord you are the one that breathes life hallelujah into us father you are our strength that is perfected in our weakness and god we bless your name today Father, forgive us of our sin. Father, forgive us for thinking about quitting. Father, forgive us for thinking about giving up. Lord, forgive us for every mistake that we've made in a failure mindset. Father, forgive us for every time we became bitter after we fell. Father, forgive us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
And Lord, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And God, we thank you for that today. And Lord, hallelujah, we just want to tell you, thank you for the fall. God, we thank you for the time that we fell. Because Father, hallelujah, all it's been doing is preparing us to show us that there's greater on the other side. Father, the same way that you did it for the young lady. Father, you're going to do it in our lives. And Father, you're going to show us, my God, that there's more on the inside of us than we ever imagined. Father, today my prayer is that you would breathe life into your, in your, your children today. Father, I pray that God, that we would sense a shaking and not become afraid, but we would sense the shaking and get excited because our second wind is on the way. Father, bring your, your spirit amongst your people. Father, fill us afresh. Father, baptize us again because Father, we need a second wind. Father, life has been beat us up father situation and circumstances have been beating us up but father we need a second wind in this season and God we thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus my brother is going to run faster than what he did before my sister is gonna run stronger than what she did before father we're not going to quit Lord we are getting back up so that you can fill us with the second wind and Lord, as we close out this prayer, we pray the way that Jesus taught us to pray. And we say, our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Yes, Lord, your kingdom come. Father, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And Lord, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the hand of the evil one for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and all of god's children say amen god bless you all my name is pastor enrique brooks of thrive church and i thank god for you being here with us today on this thriving thursday remember god did not make you to just get by he didn't make you to barely make it nor to struggle or strive but he created you to thrive so i encourage you get back up keep praying because your second wind is on the way i love you god bless you i'll see you tomorrow at the same time take care bye-bye